probably, I don't know if you can see it in the screen there, but there's a frame standing up on its nose that drained all night long, so it better be dry. It looked dry this morning when I looked in there, so it's going to be even drier now. Okay, you push, I'll catch. Here she goes. My hand was kicking out. I couldn't do anything. I got fat. Oh, I'm stuck inside. Ah, you're in the trunk. <laughs> oh, great. I got junk in the trunk. Get me out of here. <laughs> Pull the little release handle. Definitely need to come this way a little bit. Yeah. Go back a little bit. A little. Yeah. You say, we'll just use the control arm mounts. Crank her up high. Let's just get her a little closer and then let's get her You have the heavy end. Yay. Now what? <laughs> Is this where we're going to put it? Sure. So we'll start with your eye. What it sucks. Control arm. Was this your first time or something? this thing over painting it? We're idiots. Well, I go hard with paint. Jimmy was, so it should be a little easier. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, I guess we probably can't get all the way underneath it now. Yeah. Like I said, we'll just have to catch up those little control arm mounts, so that's no big deal. Try not to kick the ground too much. Yeah. A bunch of dust everywhere. <laughs> Actually, if you just take a hose, just a little sprinkle of water to keep the dust out. Yeah, I need to lay in mud. Just light sprinkle. That doesn't sound fun. Oh. Playing in the mud sounds fun. I have a. Uh, Ram board we can put down. A what? It's a thin cardboard stuff that they were putting on my carpet before. We left a roll here. We can roll some of yeah, that we can roll some of that out. Yeah, keep some of the dust down. Cut a bunch of chunks out and lay on that. Okay. All right, give you a quick walk around here. You can see the bare bits, a little chalky colored. Got some discoloration from the chemical conversion we put on. You can see some striking streaking on the other side there from the chemicals it's stuff supposed to kind of a zinc, zinc coating can't talk today have to get a rag or something and make sure we get all the dirt cleaned out of the areas but we're gonna use pour 15 in the small cans touch up all the bare metal spots it's supposed to give two to three coats so we'll work on one end go down to the other let it sit for a couple hours come back do another coat let it sit for a couple hours, come back. In between there, maybe we'll go out and grab some lunch or something. Hey, we go to that teriyaki place today. Okay. Saturday. We can go listen to the old man make fun of us and us not understand it again. So, 
here we are 70 old cutlass frame so I have springs I have an axle actually I have another one under the other car as well uh, I have upper lower control arms for the rear I have new upper lower control arms for the front should have enough stuff to put some steering together I have my quick ratio steering gearbox here uh, I ordered last night, I ordered the hard brake line kit because we're going to do brake lines on this thing before the body goes on. Uh, I ordered Camaro front rotors to go on those Camaro spindles, ordered inner and outer wheel bearings and races and wheel seals. So those should be here, well the brake lines will be here at the end of the month. Everything else should be here by the end of this week. So here in the next couple weeks start uh, putting this thing together to get it rolling here's the plan get this thing to where it can roll I don't know probably gonna wind up taking that rear end out we're gonna evaluate the other rear end to see if one's better than the other but for now we'll take that rear end out put it under this car get the front end together so it rolls no shocks those are expensive like 125 bucks a piece and up but uh, to start there, get this thing to where I can move it around. Uh, if the brake lines show up, great. Otherwise, we'll worry about that down the road. Uh, I'm going to drag the 350 rocket. I'm calling it a rocket. It's not really a rocket motor, but I'm going to grab the old 350. And I'm going to put the 700R4 in this car. I was going to do the turbo 350, but we have to use that custom cross member that gets welded in because... Where are they at? Uh, this hole and this hole are the holes that get used to mount the transmission cross member, the original, but it rides in right here. I don't want to cut a hole. So I think we're just going to weld that in. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the 700. I've got an adapter plate, bolt it to that 350. I have motor mounts. Set it in prop up the drive the rear tail shaft of the transmission get that cross member figured out take those tabs we're going to tack weld them in on that plate uh, then we're going to load this thing onto the trailer I'm going to take it into a weld shop have them weld those tab those tabs in because I don't want to do that with my little welder and then the motor and trans will not go with that and then uh, we'll go from there that transmission is going to have to be rebuilt anyway. Look at the brushes. Oh, they're floating around somewhere. Oh, yeah, that'll work. Well, we got three of them. And we got lids. You want to close it for, for some ungodly reason. So, uh. I think we'll run this stuff down each length on the sides. Okay. And then we can go underneath front and back, too. If there's enough left. or, Well, let me put this down and give you help. and. Maybe we'll take a picture of it afterwards. Alrighty, we're rolling. bed so we're coated all the bare metal bits kind of went a little heavy on the seams any spot that we could see any surface type rust poking through we hit it lots of dirt in there because well I've been laying on the ground and I crawled over the top of it but 
she goes. Away she goes. Oh, a little bit of a rust spot there. Anything left on one of those brushes? Probably. Hey, Probably. get out of here. Go, 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 go. Kicking dirt all over the frame now. Oh, no. Just make sure we get it all up in there nice and tight. You swirl around inside the big holes there. Paint over all that dirt and whatnot. I'm just keeping the car real. Yeah, not a bad idea. I think they close early on Saturday. Do they? Okay. Well, let's go do that then. You said I had drippage on me? Way up top there, so I'm not too concerned. But, yeah, oh well, we're in a good shirt. What the heck? So, yeah, we're gonna go into town, grab some more brushes, go grab some lunch, come back, watch paint dry. Probably not gonna include you guys. We'll bring you back when everything's done for the day. Hopefully, we get to the uh, top coat, but it's a cooler day, a little muggy. There's a gentle breeze blowing, so that'll help keep some air going on it, but. This stuff dries in a couple hours, you just run your hand over it. It's dry to the touch, but it's got a little drag to it, supposedly, according to the bottle. So, we'll see how it goes. So, back in a bit. Hot diggity, would you look at that? We got two coats of 415 on. We pretty much just used up the other two cans and covered the entire thing on the outside. And the inside of the frame rails, yeah, I'm not going to get in there. So, sort of rot from the inside out. But it's, uh, how'd you say, 4 o'clock now? Um, yeah. So, wait till about 5.30, 6 o'clock. And... and then we'll uh, see how she's doing. And then start with the, uh, the top coat. This stuff doesn't like UV, so we have to put another layer over the top of it and if we let it dry too long we have to sand it because I guess the UV probably puts a, a uh, oxidation layer on it or something so I think the paint's too hard the paint won't let the new coat of paint stick mm. if it dries too much so we'll let her sit for a little bit and then we'll start spraying should have probably grabbed some masks or something otherwise we're gonna have black boogers Two of them sitting on the porch there. Okay, that'll work. Alrighty, back when we're uh, playing with spray paint. Alrighty, folks, it's dry. It's about 6 30 in the evening right now. It's dry to the touch, but it has just a little bit of resistance. So it's not leaving fingerprints. Three, cow, three cans of spray, three cans of brush on if we need it. That's going to do it for today. We've been out cleaning out sheet metal and bits and moving parts and consolidating and getting some different stuff moved around. We actually did gear ratio counts on my olds, Kevin's olds, and his 82 Chevy pickup and talking about plans and what we're doing and we looked at the 411 gears with the posi and that all looks real good so maybe changing the ring gear on that and we've been puttering around you have to shave before you put these on oh crap <laughs> Interesting method you got going on. Well, you know, it's, uh... What is that, guys? You looking for your beer still? Yeah. Kevin misses
Direction. Surface must be clean, dry, and free of all oil and other contaminants before painting. Protect surrounding areas from spray mist. I don't think it really matters in this <laughs> question. Well, unless there's anything that we don't want covered in overspray. I think everything's dirty enough and nothing's going to stick. Yeah. So. First, if you want, we could drag it out more into the yard. And I ain't okay. <laughs> If being used to top coat pour 15, spray while pour 15 is dried to the touch with a slight finger drag. Not normally two to six hours. We've got that. If it is dried, wait 24 hours and lightly sand or scuff. We're not doing that. Best results used when surface to be painted. Spray can outside temperature between 60 and 90. I think we're there. Shake can at least one minute before and occasionally during use. How many coats does it take to use? I don't know. I didn't read that far. It's just one. It's probably we're going to get out of all these cans. Spray surface with steady even strokes at a distance of 6 to 10 inches. Several light coats will give better finish than one heavy coat. For best results, recoat within one hour or after 24. One hour. So, you want to do, try and do a light coat. Can't wait an hour. Might as well do another one. Because once we get a couple of coats on, I don't see why it couldn't be recoated again a couple of times next weekend. Yeah. If we've got enough. I don't think this stuff you have to leave. Doesn't say anything about weight. Yeah. Empty aerosol cans, blah 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 blah. So your weapon of choice, sir. No kind of cheap things that you give me here. Something better. You gotta just shut them straight through. Don't get your finger stuck in there like I've done once. That sucks. <laughs> it's like one of those tiny finger traps. <laughs> oh, this is not beer approved. <laughs> Doofus, go off camera here so you don't see my bald head doing. I need a straw. Mmm, <laughs> beer through a straw. Alright, this will start the front and start the back. Okay, we'll meet in the middle. We're meeting, baby. Oh god, I thought it wasn't working. Light cup. Oh man, this thing is not spraying so good. Yeah. I think we're cleared out now. I think we're good. video here we'll uh, bring you back next weekend if we come out to assemble stuff uh, can't tell if that's a spot of mist that a mist that got spotted it's that dry that's where on the top there's a little recess on the inside there right there yeah uh, more towards the right there might just been a little thick or something alrighty woohoo painting Oldsmobile frame Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next exciting one. Y'all be good. Bye-bye.